What's going on everybody? So I'm going to finally, finally bring you that video about the vacuum hose diagram. Um, it, it's taken me a little bit of time trying to find all the different um, you know, information that I needed. This was easy, but really, you know, all this stuff on the screen right that you're seeing, I was easily able to find that, but I wanted to also find a forerunner to look at. So first we're going to look at this right here. And then we're going to go take a look at the actual forerunner and actually get our eyes on it. But this may be all that you need right here. So you may be able to just pause this and take a look at this and, and figure out what you need. If you don't, I'll go over it with you. So what we got here, um, let's see here. I got to go to, okay. So I had to bring up this actually, cause this is what you need to see. So, uh, this is more of a description up here and then this is actually what it is. So you got 1 through 13, and as you can see, 1 through 13 on this side as well. And so we'll start with number one. Number one is this big hose right here, and it's actually going to go to the reed valve. You're actually going to find that connection on the back side of the reed valve. And the reed valve is actually this piece right here. Uh, it's going to be right behind the EGR valve. And so the connection is actually, you can see it right here. It's actually this one right here. It goes up like this. I don't know if you can actually see the mouse. I think you can. But uh, yeah, it's right here. And then, let's see, number two is the fuel return line. So basically it's just gonna come out and it's gonna, it's, it's literally just gonna connect to the, your fuel return. So uh, then there's the brake booster. Uh, let's see here, let's go back to that photo. Yep, there it is. Okay, so uh, like that, that was number two right there was the fuel return right here. Uh, and then number three is your brake booster. So obviously it goes from here and it just goes straight over there to your brake booster and let's see here uh, number four is the rear air hose to AC idle up okay so let's see if it shows it in this photo uh, I don't see it in this photo okay on your passenger side fender uh, right around the fuse box area you're gonna see this thing that has two connections pointing up or might even have two hoses coming off you should have two hoses coming off one's kinda going at a little bit of an angle to the right and one's kind of going, you know, the one in, in front of it is actually going kind of, I guess, straight up maybe. I can't, we'll see it when we go look at the, the Forerunner. Um, but that's your AC idle up is that part. So when we're looking at it, it says the rear air hose, The rear, you hear that red neck come out there? Uh, the rear air hose is it is for the AC idle up. So number four, let's, that sounded it's so confusing. So number four is going to go to the back connection on your AC one, the one closest to the firewall. And then, let's see, it was number six is the other one of those AC idle up, and that one's gonna go on the front side of that, you know, the one closest to the grill. Um, let's go back up here. So five and 13 are the power steering pump. That is five and 13. Now five and 13, all the, it doesn't matter which end you plug into where, all, all that matters is that like whenever you're on the power steering uh, power steering side, there's two nipples over there. It doesn't matter which one you plug it into and it doesn't matter which one of these you plug it into. So as long as they go to it, that's all you need. Um, let's see, number seven, that is gonna go to the, you'll notice on the hose itself, it'll actually have number one, number two, and there's the number five, number three, number six, if you haven't changed out your hoses. So uh, this number seven, which is this up here, we're going up to this little triad piece right here. Uh, it is going to go to the passenger side of the rear VSV. Now, what they're saying is, is it's going to go to the this passenger side connection right here. It's the one closest to the passenger side, and it's the rear VSV. So you'll have three of them on that fender, and you want the rear one. Um, let's go back over here. Uh, then number eight, which is this one right here. This one is going to go to the, let's see, what does it say over here? Yeah, pasture side of the center one. So like we said, it's going to go to the center one. So it's going to be this pasture side one on the center. Um, and then nine goes to your PCV valve. Uh, number 10 is, so I'm sorry, I forgot to take you back there. So number nine, like I said, this one right here, it's going to go to your PCV hose. And then number 10, which is right here, this one is going to go to the driver's side of the center VSV. 
and you know if we go over here look at this VSV again so you see there's one on the driver's side right here that's where that one's gonna plug into so let's see yeah and then let's go to number 11 so number 11 is this one right here it's gonna be the top of those two right there so number 11 is gonna go to the passenger side of the front VSV so if you look over here at this front one right here it's gonna go to this one right here and you're kind of getting the idea as to what's going on here um, so number 12 which is this one right here is going to go to the front or to the driver's side of the front VSV so if we go and look I'm sorry yeah so the front and this is the driver's side so that's what that one goes so uh, also number four hose you notice that we didn't mention number four in this list of them right here so the number four hose that's listed it's going to come from the rear VSV the driver's side rear VSV so we go back over here so that's going to be this one right here and it's going to go to the connection on the the small connection on your reed valve um, and then let's see the AC idle up so the other ends of those that of the uh, AC idle up uh, what is this is what it's saying right here we're gonna get a look at it here very soon so this is your AC idle up and so you know this is front this is the rear that they speak of uh, and as you can see I was talking about the two nipples right there boom boom and then there's one passenger side nipple and the driver's side ugh, right there hip in there it's hard to see there's so much crap um, and then you know this was the goes over there to the brake booster and yeah the like a, the fuel return line it comes the it would be this piece would be right here and it would come up through this goes down and then it comes out on the one that you know you remember the diagram so um and this is like i said this is the reed valve that big line right here it goes into the the big line down there which you can barely see because it's dark here today but pretty much that handles everything right there now if you're wanting to know about this i mean these lines right here are going to run over here and doesn't matter which one of these it goes to because they're all basically the exact same thing all the way down um, but you're probably you're going to want to focus on these front two right here and then let's see yeah, this one doesn't oh here we go sometimes you don't have this so so check that out that helps too that's actually the most beneficial one right there. I want to take a picture of that. I was saying you wanted to focus on those first two because the last one's actually going to go over here to the top of the fuel pressure regulator right here. And that, that this is the return line that, you know, in that list of, uh, on that little part or the connection list, this is the return line. That, like I said, it ties into here. Um, so we look here and then there's this one right here. So this is, yeah. Hold on, let me figure out what exactly that one is. So this line right here, which is the fuel return, or, you know, the vacuum for it, um, the vacuum for the, uh, yeah, the canister. So it goes right here. But there's also usually a valve in between right here that's gonna be back there, just like as you can see right here. So it comes off of right here, goes up, goes into that, and then goes into the canister. And then when it comes to the power steering, uh, it's still here, but the thing that's not here is the switch because that thing is expensive but it would be normally about right here and what you would do is it would have two nipples coming off and it doesn't matter which one you go to uh they were going to do the same thing all right so this right here this valve is actually going to be on the back of behind the intake manifold and it's this right here that is exactly what it is um that now you be careful with this if you're trying to mess with this these are going to be brittle because it's sitting there with a lot of heat when i pulled my motor out as soon as i went to pull my connection off it just it took the nipple and everything with it so keep that in mind and just be careful with this um, but really that's everything so later